Ah. Hello, sexy people. How are we doing? Mm. Enjoying ourselves? Did we have a good day today? <laughs> yeah, uh, Brony, we played Life in Bunker last night and we beat it. We got to day 50. Uh, you then get released from the bunker and that's it. It's like the credits come up. And I was like, well, okay. You know, it was, it was okay. It was, um, it was a bit of fun. I only got about like maybe five hours playtime out of it. And that was that. So, you know, I mean, it, it was okay, but I think it needs more to it yet. Um, I think they are still working on it, but I think it does need a little bit more to it yet. It was a fun little sim, I guess, you know, that fun little thing. Um, but that was that, and it's done. Um, what we're going to do today, I'm not, we'll play seven days to die, obviously, you know, for the first um, maybe five hours or so, I guess. Um, but after after that, I, I don't know what we're going to play. Uh, I'm thinking of a few different things, so I don't know. Yeah, I did expect more time with it, Jerry. Yeah. For the price tag it has, I don't think that's worth I don't think that's worth the price tag it was paid for five hours and you're done. That's it. I was like, okay. I don't expect to buy any game where it's five hours and you're done. I put more time into Unturned, which was free, than five hours. So, yeah, I did expect more from it, to be honest. I did. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I certainly expected a bit more than that. Just the way it is, I guess. You know what I mean? Just the way it is. <laughs> hey, God bless. How's it going? And Jerry, and Jordy, and Oakback, and Ray Machine, and Wancliffe, and Bundle of Twenties. Hi, all there. <clears throat> right. We always go through our settings at the start of a session, uh, just so people know what kind of settings we play on just in case you weren't aware. Um, so there's our seed for our map, uh, A136 Sober, with capital A, capital S. Standard options, we have difficulty setting on Survivalist. So this one here, just before insane. Daylight length is 18 hours long. Cuts down in the dead time at night for the stream. 24 hour cycle is 60 minutes long, so we can have our break every hour. Uh, loot abundance is 25%, hence what's in the title. Enemy spawning is very high, hence the 150%, it's in the title. And airdrops are disabled because they're OP as fuck. Um, yeah, God bless the dead. How you doing, bro? Good to see you in here. Good to see you in here. Good to see all you guys here. It's very kind of you to turn up. Very kind of you to be here. Um, well, I used to play on Warrior, um, Jordy. I used to play on Warrior, man. So I haven't played on uh, Survivalist very long, to be honest. Uh, but... I think I played on Survivalist for Alpha 12 and Alpha 13. So, like, we might put it up to CN in the future. See how we go. Um, but the difficulty does ramp up quite a lot, you know. You end up on NCN where you just can't one-shot a zombie even in the head, you know. Uh, with my normal play, you know what I mean. So, yeah, with guns and so on, I'm sure you can. But, like, with a bow or... Whatever you just can't one shot them, and um, and that takes a little bit of the fun out of it. You know that 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 more than just slightly increases the difficulty. That can make a big difference to the difficulty. Um, but we'll see. We might we might pop it up to NC. We might for the next one for Alpha fourteen. Um, we'll see how we go. We might put it up to NC and get wrecked, and I have to go back to survivalist. <laughs> see how we go. But I think all the other options that I choose also increase the difficulty a little bit, you know, the loot abundance and the enemy spawning. So I think it's a good a good medium. I think it's it's about trying to find, and I tell this to people who first get the game, don't I, when they come into the chat and say, you know, what should I do, blah, blah, blah. I, I do tell you, it's, it's about finding the medium that's right for you. And obviously later on in the game, it changes a little bit. But early on game, um, that is the right sort of level for me, I think, I, I find. I find it quite a challenge at the start still. So it's a good it's a good level to be at. Um, okay. And I, I think it's night time. I think we've just got into night time. And it's night time on day three twenty one. And day three twenty two is horde night. So we've got basically an hour from now until the horde strikes. A 
basically an hour from now until board time. Yeah, that's that would just be that's ridiculous, Jordy, doing that. You know, nothing will ever last. You just constantly be dying. I don't agree with any setting that means you constantly die. If you play the game and it's so difficult that you're constantly dying, then I think you're playing it wrong. Um, I know people could argue, well, you're never dying or hardly ever dying, so maybe I'm playing it wrong. You know, you could easily argue that, but I really do feel that that would be that goes into the realms of the game not being fun anymore because it's so much stress. You're just constantly dying. You're never progressing. You're never getting anywhere, and that would make it feel like it was no fun anymore. And if the game's not fun, there's no there's any game if it's not fun. There's no point in playing it, right? Zombie Scott, how you doing? Welcome, man. Any game at all, if it's if it's no longer fun for you, then there's no point doing it. Uh, I think you've got to draw a line. Um, the same thing with zombies running. Um, there's two reasons why I don't want zombies running all the time. Uh, one, I don't think zombies should run at all, to be honest. Um, but two, that can also become um, a game where you're accepting the inevitability that you're going to die a lot. And that, to me, wouldn't be as much fun. I've watched people who play on Zombies Run all the time, and when they play solo like I do, they just die all the time. Um, like, Dekin used to play on Zombies Run all the time, but he used to play on Zombies Run with Craven. He didn't, um, he didn't put it on those same difficulty settings when he played solo. He would put the difficulty right down and play Zombies Run, but they were, like, dying to an arrow in the, the left toe, you know. So I think there's, um... You've got to have a, a modicum of reason behind the settings that you pick. Um, and if it gets to the point where you're no longer having fun, then you've picked the wrong settings. So uh, that applies to everybody, streaming it or not streaming it, in my opinion. It is still meant to be a game, it is still meant to be fun, so you've got to find the right settings for you. And like I say, if it gets to the point where it isn't fun, then You've chosen the wrong ones. If it isn't fun for whatever reason, then you've chosen the wrong ones. <sighs> Should I drink? Can't walk the thirst or something. There we go. All good. Um. I. So it is night time, we've got to wait till morning before we can try and see if we can finish off the sod house that we were building. We've almost finished the last one. The, the big one. Uh, of course we don't know whether it's going to support the roof or not. That's going to be the, the difficult part, the difficult portion. Uh, we, tr we tried like three times now and the roof has collapsed. Uh, and now we're trying with like wooden supports as such uh, to see if it'll, uh, if it'll stay up this time. But we don't know yet. We've got to wait and see. How you doing, Zombie Scott? You alright? How's your day going? Is it late morning or early morning for all of you guys? Or just midday like me? Or just after midday, I guess, from over back, isn't it? Just after midday. Like one, two o'clock. It shouldn't be night time for any of you guys unless you're over in Asia. So and unless you're any of you guys are over in Asia, then it should be uh morning or afternoon, right? Midday. Yeah. Um after we do this sod house, I'm thinking we should I'd like to make a start on a road. I'd like to do a road, to be honest. You just woke up, Zombie Scott. That doesn't tell me whether it's morning or anything, though. <laughs> you could you could have just woke up at 9 o'clock at night, for all I know. <laughs> well, when, <laughs> which, which portion of the day did you just wake up in? It could be any time, right? <laughs> I just woke up, and it's 9 o'clock at night. 
Because I work nights and I sleep during the day, right? Could be any, could be any version of that, right? Any version at all. <coughs> it's twelve twenty-four, as in midday. When you say morning, that that implies that it's just after midnight. Is it just after midnight? See, 12.24 in the morning to me would be just after midnight. So you've woke up at night time. Have you just woke up at night time, bro? Is that what's going on here? Midday then, but you're morning. <laughs> yeah, morning to you. Morning isn't isn't actually just whenever you wake up. It's just not automatically morning. <laughs> it might be your your wake up time, but it doesn't mean it's morning. You can't just say today nine o'clock at night is morning, and I'm going to wake up nine o'clock at night. So everybody has to have morning at nine o'clock at night. That's that's not how it works, man. I think it's prescribed that you know before midday, wherever you are around the world, that's that's morning. <laughs> I think that's how it works. So like after midday is afternoon, right? After noon. That's afternoon. <laughs> and then like, you know, after tea time, that's that's night time when it gets dark. I don't think you can just change what the, the, the definitions for morning are just because you woke up late. <laughs> you can't say, oh, I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. I'm going to get up at like three o'clock in the afternoon and just let everybody declare that morning. <laughs> I declare Three in the afternoon is morning time. It's it's not. It's not, man. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You don't get to declare that. But I appreciate the effort. My jiggly wiggly heart. It's quite a bright night tonight, huh? Not very dark. It's raining again. There's been a lot of rain going on. Why y'all raining? <sighs> Just wait till they add in like diseases and stuff. You start getting the flu because you're out in the rain. No, eh? Just for the added difficulty. I had a good sleep, thank you, Jerry. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, I am cool, bro. We haven't done the spikes yet. We still gotta do the spikes, huh? That's what we'll have to spend tomorrow doing. Spikes, man. Where are you going? Yo, dude, what? What are you doing? Where are you going? Dude. Where's she going? You're getting hella excited away over there, huh? Hey, Betty Manoon, how you doing? Good to see you. You all right? Hey, Betty. Hey, Betty. Bye bye. One clean shot to the head. That's what it should always take. You know what I mean? Always, no matter what bloody difficulty you're on, one clean shot to the head should just kill them. Should. Should always just KO. That's it. Done. One clean shot to the head. Uh, it's on 322, so it's on tonight as such. It's in about 40 minutes' time, zombie. 
In about 40 minutes time. You're tired, Betty. Oh, get some sleep, Betty Moon. It's Sunday. Get some sleep. It's a day of rest. Lie on the sofa with me on a tablet or something or me on a phone and just get some sleep, right? Get some rest. You don't want to be feeling bad, you know? You know what I mean? You don't be feeling bad, yeah. Now, we should probably get the necessary equipments to sort this place out. Um, we've got to do all the spikes, and we've got to do all the blah, 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 and all the blah, 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 and the blah, blah, blah. Now, put the logs away. Um... Wood spikes, go. Uh... Nail gun should be out, I guess. Uh, probably the fire axe as well. And we'll need some concrete. Some concrete mix. Or repairs. Yeah, if you're tired, get some sleep. We've got, we got a whole stream to go, Betty. Just get a wee nap, you know what I mean? Have we, you know, put your head down just for a, a couple of hours. You'll feel better, right? It's Sunday. You should be. You're not working, right? You're not working today, Betty, right? Get some sleep. What time is it for you, Betty? Where do you live in the world? Where do you live in the world? Nightbot is just refusing to be here, isn't it? Oh, Nightbot is here. Why is it not showing in the damn listing then? Hello. Stupid thing. Bloody night bot. Bloody night bot. You know what I mean? Chatty's just not registering people at all. It's weird. It's half seven for you, Betty. Wow, 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 wow. So you're like East Coast US. East Coast US, huh? Yeah, no wonder you're tired. Half seven in the morning. Yeah, you need to you need to get a bit more sleep, Betty. You need to get a little bit more sleep. That's what you need to do. You need to get a little bit, of, a little bit more sleep. A bit, a bit of a nap. A nap is a good idea for you. A nap's a good idea for everybody. Everybody just take a nap. Take take an hour. Take a nap. It'll be all right. Come back and, you know, in a while. And we'll probably be killing the horde. Just everybody take a nap. Everybody take a little break. Go. <laughs> everybody just get your head down. Have a little sleep. You'll probably have a little sleep while you're watching me anyway. <clears throat> so that, you know, that'll help you. So few people today, well, huh? it's been so qu it's been quieter and quieter and quieter every day for the last what week, two weeks almost maybe. It's just getting quieter and quieter every day. Like, I don't know about about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, within about twenty minutes of, within about twenty minutes of us starting, we had like forty five, fifty people here. Within about twenty minutes of starting the stream. No, we start up the stream, we get like 10 people all just going, ah, uh, have a, have a, have a. <laughs> it's crazy. And like yesterday, we only ever got to about 50 people, I think, at tops. The whole day. The whole day. You're going to work, Betty. Oh, no, Betty. No. Work on a Sunday. Betty. Oh. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you, Betty. I feel bad for you. Well, I hope you have a, a, a relaxed day at work today. I hope it's not too bad. I hope it's not too strenuous for you. I hope you're all right. And you get a wee bit of rest when you come back, right? When you get home, get a bit of rest. Afternoon, old crow. How you doing, man? How you doing, sexy? My sexy friend. How you doing? Mm, morning time. Okay. We need to get these spikes sorted out, don't we? Really? Um, that's just not good. We need to get the spikes sorted. We haven't done any of these driveling things. We haven't sorted nothing out, man. We just abandoned it. Abandoned all hope you who enter here. Uh, that's all the wood gone. Um.
What about repair? Alright. I don't seem to have any holes this time around. We got no holes, guys. That's unusual. I like holes. Gives me something to fill. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I kinda like holes. We don't got any? Seriously? No hole? We had a board that didn't make a single hole in the ground. Like, what's the, what's the chances of that? That seems very unlikely. Odd. Whatever. Spikes. Um, okay, they're full. You arrived just in time, old crow, to watch me do the spikes, man. I don't know if you ever saw me do the spikes before, have you? I don't know if you ever saw that particular um, exhilarating experience. Uh, but that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do spikes. Because we haven't done them yet. We went all around the world. Been around the world. I, 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 and I have done my spikes. Yeah. I don't know when I don't know where. We're going to get them done. I'm going to have a go right now. My spikes. I'm going to place them. Been around the world Looking for What were we looking for? I can't remember What were we looking for? When we went around the world? I can't remember what we were looking for Ah, uh, it's ruined Hashtag ruined Song, Song's ruined no. I can't remember what we were looking for Doing good, gonna be lurking most of the day, testing shit on the server. Hi, bro, no worries, man. No worries, bro. Thank you very much, though. I appreciate the lurk. Uh, old crow. Even if, uh, even if you're not active, activate. I appreciate it, bro. And uh, I hope you don't have too much stress. Or, in fact, I hope you do have stress if you're stress testing, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Do you want stress? For again. I don't know, but I'm gonna find. <laughs> you never seen this build, Okro? Yeah. It's quite a new one. We haven't used this before. This is just where we like, like put spikes around. And then like the zombies just stand on the spikes and stuff. It's kind of cool. It works well. It works really, really well. But it's, uh, it's very revolutionary. You know? It was very inventive of me to do this, I thought. That's you twerp. Twerp. Oh, a follower. Oh, Pi de Familia. Thank you very much for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, Bloomy, how you doing? <sighs> a housekeeper. Gotcha. I understand, Betty. I understand, Betty. So you've got to be doing that every day, right? At least hopefully you ain't getting too much stress doing it. I hope. You know. Don't be stressing yourself out doing it, right? Hard work, but hopefully not the most stressful of work. I hope it's not too bad. That all depends on the place where you work, I guess, as well, doesn't it? You know? A lot would depend on where you work. You could have some places where you might work and it might be just stress free and easy, right? And some places it might be an absolute nightmare, I guess. So it all depends on where you work, doesn't it? But that's cool. Is that like for a personal um a personal address or is that like a hotel or what is it? I'm getting a, I'm getting a bit inquisitive now, aren't I? Maybe I should just leave you alone and shut up. Should I? I should just say just mind your own business, Buck. Stop being nosy. No, it's fucking spikes. Don't be nosy, Buck. Leave the woman alone. You know what I mean? Just leave her alone. 
Dance really. I guess if it's like a hotel or whatever, then um, it's. You have no idea what it's going to be like until you get in, right? Different residents, different things, blah, blah, blah. And if it's like a personal address, then if you've got a good one, you're laughing. If you've got a crap one, not so good. <clears throat> in a hotel. So it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit pick and mix then, isn't it, Betty, really? You never know what you're going to have the, ne the next day, right? You never know what's going to happen. I think there's a lot more stress to it in a, in a hotel sort of thing as well. A lot more pressured. A lot more time pressure going on, you know, if you're working for a hotel. To get the rooms turned around, etc., at the right time. So it's a lot of time pressure. Especially because, let's face it, most hotels or most businesses in general try and be as understaffed as they can manage with, don't they? Do you know what I mean? You don't often find in any employment like that, the service industry, where people are so fully staffed that everything runs lovely and smoothly. You're always understaffed, aren't you? Always. There's always a shortage of jobs for people to have, and yet businesses are always understaffed. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Odd, really. But places like that are always understaffed, you know? And then the people that work in there are just working their asses off, trying to compensate for the fact that really the owners are just trying to save a wee bit of money, man, and just not hire people if they can't. <sighs> If they can get away with it, then they will. Why? Why do with five people what you could do with three? <laughs> right? Unless, of course, it's a sort of five-star joint, you know, that, that gets so much money per room that they don't really give a shit. <laughs> oh, you twerp. Seriously. Why would you place fucking spikes under your own feet? That should never happen. You know, the block is taken. <laughs> You're stood in it. <laughs> yeah, Jerry, there you go. Just keep listening. Just keep listening. Just keep listening. You'll be fine. Yeah, I hope it's not too bad today, then. I hope it's a good day. A lot of that kind of thing depends on the colleagues you're working with as well. I mean, I loved, like, bar work, for instance, you know, and it all depends on the colleagues you're working with, too. You can have a really fun time at work if you're working with the right kind of people, right? In any job. If you've got the right colleagues there with you, you can have a lot of fun at work. You know, work can be, even though the work itself might not be the most exciting or the most challenging or the most whatever, uh, you can still have a lot of fun at work if you've got the right people there, you know. I think that can make a work environment. And that's that's something that you kind of miss out on when you work for yourself or work alone. Isn't that right, Old Crow? You kind of miss out on that a little bit, you know, sometimes. Uh, I'm not sure about what work environment you have, but I assume some of it you do. So low. And so you might miss out on that kind of thing. But that's what I would miss. The advantage, obviously, being that, you know, you're governing your own work as such. So you don't have the pressures that goes along with having the boss sat there looking at you. Shouting at you every two minutes. Everything has its advantages and disadvantages. And everybody, everybody steps up to a different style as well. So some people like that whole, you know, high-pressured environment, thrive off it. Uh, 
some people like to have a load of colleagues there, some people like to just be left alone, just do their thing. Horses for courses, right? Hey, Skizzy, how you doing, bro? Good morning, if it's applicable to you. Good morning to you. Hope you're going to have a good one today. Bro, you're like that, that worst sneaky zombie ever. I mean, you were, you were crying about it, and you're not even here, man. You're like so damn far away, it's unbelievable. Just chill your shit out, bro. If you'd have kept quiet, man, you'd have probably got me. But, no. You couldn't keep your trap shut, huh? Couldn't keep your trap shut. You had to... You just had to. And now look where you are. Dead. And not even buried. Right. Spikes spiked. Are we done? I think we're done. Cool. Drinking your first coffee, it's supposed to be a warm day. Fantastic. Well, I have the heater on beside me, actually. I have it on right here, right beside me. Just, uh... Oh! That was a mistake from me, Ed. Um, because today is pretty cold. And I just, I'm a warm, loving person. I love warm. Um... Which is a bit unfortunate that I was born in the UK and stay here, huh? But um, I need to move to somewhere warm. I need to move to somewhere hot, guys. Are any of you guys hot? I need to move there. Not you, old crow. I was talking to the women, man. <clears throat> Just saying. Any of you guys hot? Maybe I could move there. Been around. I don't know why she went all around the world looking for a baby. What did she like leave it in a supermarket or something? I mean, who leaves their baby behind? That's really silly. Hey, Lisa. It's a very bad idea, Lisa Stansfield. Why would you leave your baby behind? Why? Why? Why would you do that? Why? Um, I really hope this doesn't collapse again. If it does, we're going to have to go crazy on the old supports. Just to ensure it doesn't collapse a, <laughs> a fourth time. 